Shalom. We're uh, studying the weekly portion, the portion of Chukat, uh, where the Torah tells us about the laws of uh, Para Aduma, of the red heifer, which are called Chukat. Chuk is translated as those commandments which we don't understand. And why is this a classic example of a mitzvah that we don't understand? Because it's illogical. The person who is impure came in contact with death or a dead body. He, through the ashes of the red hefer, when there was a temple, would become pure. On the other hand, the koanim, the priests, who were pure beforehand, those who come in contact with those same ashes, they become impure. And that's why this is called a chok, because it's one of those mitzvot which we don't understand. Rav Kook, the first chief rabbi of Israel, uh, deals a lot with the idea of understanding mitzvot, the idea of identifying with mitzvot. And this is based on his background in Hasidut, where in uh, Hasidut, in the Hasidim, talk of, about doing the mitzvot with joy, out of happiness, which is connected with the Kabbalistic, the mystical uh, idea of understanding the mitzvot. And because the more you understand the mitzvah, the more you understand the commandment, the more you can identify the more you can do it with joy. But the question is, if Rav Kook and the Hasidim and the Kabbalistim um, deal so much with the idea of understanding mitzvot, so why do we have these mitzvot which are called chukim that we don't understand? Uh, in order to understand this, we have to realize that most of the commandments, it's difficult to define whether they are understandable or not understandable. Uh, because there are certain mitzvot, which we used to think are just ununderstandable, just because God said so, and uh, like eating pig. And uh, somewhere along the line, uh, medicine realized that it's also healthy, that it's beneficial. Uh, the laws of family purity, where psychologists and anybody who's practiced the laws knows that the distancing between a man and wife, not to have physical contact during a certain set period of time during their married life, is something very, heavy, uh, very healthy for their relationship. The same thing with Shabbat. Shabbat, when we, on the Sabbath, sit, take off, turn off our cell phones, turn off our televisions, our internet, and we get in touch with ourselves. The idea of a day for introspection, a day where the family's together, a day where everyone is equal, where there's no boss and worker, uh, no millionaires and exploiters and those who are exploited. It's a day where a person is with himself. So Shabbat is a very logical uh, commandment. If so, apparently, that is not a chuk. On the other hand, we know that it is healthy and logical that we look at the commandments as if they're chukim, as if we should, we're going to do them, whether we understand them or not. And uh, this is basically the difference between uh, boot camp in the army and physiotherapy. In boot camp in the army, the, your commander wants to break you, wants to teach you how to take orders, wants to show you that he's the boss, and he'll tell you to do strange things even though there's no logic in them. Why? Just to show that he's the boss. On the other hand, in physiotherapy, the physiotherapist might ask you to do those exact same actions, but you're going to do them enthusiastically simply because you know that she's doing it for your good, it's in your benefit, you also know that she knows things that you don't know. You also know that some of the exercises in physiotherapy you do understand, so you're going to give her enough credit and listen and follow, do the exercises, even that which you don't understand. And that's basically the question. And what we're saying here is that the mitzvot are not boot camp. The mitzvot is physiotherapy, where whether we understand it or whether we don't, we're going to do the mitzvot, even though we know deep down that they are logical. In a nutshell, the, what you may sometimes think you understand, 
it might turn out that you don't really understand it. You only understood a certain part of it. On the other hand, there are mitzvot, which we thought we didn't understand. The more you learn about them, you see that they are understandable. In other words, there is no clear line, no clear division between chukim and mishpatim, between mitzvot are understandable and those which aren't understandable. But we do them no matter what extent that we understand them. Because just like physiotherapy, they're in our better interest, whether we understand or whether we don't. Shalom.